guys, it's Priscilla here from Priceline Pharmacy West Brunswick. I'm here to talk to you about the many, many different forms of magnesium and what they can be used for. Today, I'll be discussing a little bit about what magnesium does to our muscles and in terms of assisting us sleep. So you get a few different forms and um, it can be useful for different reasons. We have some creams, we have oils, we have a magnesium powder and magnesium tablets as well. Um, the most important thing is to know what you're trying to treat in terms of supplementing your magnesium. Often magnesium can be used for stress, it can be used for sleep, it can be used for muscle cramping, which is the main kind of use. Um, so it's really important to know what seems to be the cause of that muscle cramping and the tension that we're feeling and how we can supplement that and help with magnesium. And that will make us decide which formulation would be the best suited for us. So when it comes to muscle cramping, it can happen in a lot of patients. Sometimes it happens in more elderly patients. Um, it can be with people who are on cholesterol tablets as well. Um, it can be used for many, many different reasons or people who are just generally quite active in terms of their lifestyle and then they end up having muscle cramps quite often. There are people that also have restless leg syndrome, so that's also very common um, and magnesium supplements can help with that also. So just letting you know about a few different types and a few different tips in terms of selecting a magnesium supplement. First thing is it's really important to make sure that the magnesium that you're selecting is a magnesium chelate. So the reason for that is magnesium can get absorbed through the stomach through a ion channel or a very narrow channel and a bigger channel. So when it's in a chelate form, our body recognizes it as a bigger compound and therefore it passes it through a bigger channel. When that happens, that means one, we get much more absorption, and two, we have much less magnesium sitting on the surface of our gut and less stomach problems or side effects. So a lot of people may complain of magnesium causing a little bit of um, constipation. It can be a little bit irritating to the gut, and that's why a lot of people will refrain from using the tablets. That's fine too. But just remember, if you are having difficulties in terms of selecting a proper magnesium form, look for something that's called a magnesium chelate. Now the other thing is, is if you find that you would rather just take a cream or an oil, that's absolutely fine too. An oil tends to get absorbed really quickly in terms of the skin. It tends to um, help relax the muscle just in a local area rather than in multiple areas around the body. Um, and a cream does the same thing. It's just a little bit thicker in consistency. That's one way of treating the muscle uh, spasms and things. With regards to tablets, you can also take tablets that are also beneficial in terms of muscle cramping and they relax the muscle fiber and they will help as well. Now, the great thing about magnesium is because, because it relaxes you, it can also reduce any sort of tension that you may, be, may feel and also it can get you to sleep a little bit better as well. So there are formulations on the market that help support sleep. This is a great alternative in terms of using um, a sleeping tablet or tablets that can be high in addiction profiles. Um, it's also good in terms of taking something that relaxes you because you don't have the residual drowsiness following morning. Um, as you get with a lot of uh, sleeping tablets. So it is definitely a great option to consider if you find that your sleeping patterns are not really correct or you, you would like your sleeping patterns to be a little bit better. And also it really supports that um, deep sleep that we really strive for when we want to have a good night's rest. That is all about our uh, magnesium supplements. If you have any questions, feel free to come in and have a discussion with myself or the other pharmacists on duty, and we'll be happy to show you what options you have. Thanks.